flood. It's spreading all over the city. How do we contain it? Find the crashed flood ship. Overload its engine core. Wow, the flood are everywhere and very scary. But at least they're not butterflies, because I'm deathly allergic to them. Oh no, not butterflies. Hey guys, it's General Heat here. How is everyone doing today? So, for uh, today's video, we are doing another uh, Wacky Saturday video where, um, in this case, we are going to be playing as a butterfly in Halo 3. So, uh, as you know, uh, well, maybe you never noticed before, but on the map Valhalla, there's uh, three different kinds of butterflies. There's red butterflies, yellow ones, and uh, purple ones as well. So, you know, previously with the videos where um, we played as like fish, rats, seagulls, uh, birds, um, and you know, a lot of people have been requesting butterflies for a little bit, and uh, one one fan actually even showed the, uh, he even did like his own prototype of playing as a butterfly, which I thought was pretty cool, and you know, I decided, you know, I would try it out myself and see what it's like to play as a butterfly. So, playing as a butterfly is actually, um, it's interesting, and what's interesting about playing a butterfly is that you know, at, at previously, I thought that the, the rat was the only creature in Halo 3 that could hold weapons and fire them. Because, you know, the fish, the seagull, the, um, the quad-winged bird, they could not hold weapons or fire them. Only the rat could. Until now. As it, as it seems to be, the butterflies can actually hold weapons as well, and even fire them. And they can hold pretty much any weapon, um, but they can't... They can hold melee weapons, but they can't use them. So, you know, energy swords, gravity hammers, they can't fire them. Or, you know, they can't, like, swing them or anything. Uh, but they can actually hold, like, turrets and two-handed weapons. Like, you know, machine gun turrets, flamethrowers, or missile pods, as you saw at the very beginning. So, yeah, that's actually a really interesting thing about butterflies. Um, so, right now we're just... This is, like, the standard, the default size of the butterflies. They are pretty small and pretty hard to notice actually so let me just show you guys up close each of them have like different designs uh, very different designs this is the uh, red one uh, the the yellow and purple ones they don't really have as much distinct dis patterns on them so I'm just gonna show you the red one for now um, so even though they can hold weapons like the rat they still can't drive vehicles either unfortunately it would have looked so silly to have like a butterfly drive like a warthog though somehow i'm not sure exactly how it would like reach the steering wheel or the pedals but yeah so just for the heck of it as tradition we always have like some like wacky ending or wacky scenario for this so i decided like in, in the last video we did like a i replaced guilty spark with the uh, quad wing bird this time i replaced guilty spark with a butterfly and we're having like a giant rat versus a bigger butterfly. Now I would have made the butterfly even bigger, like super ridiculously big, like I did with the uh, the quad wing bird in the previous video. Uh, but one issue with the butterfly is that if you make it too big, it um, it, it just doesn't really work well, and it's it kind of like it kind of like makes the butterfly like way too high up in the air if you do it that way. The bigger you make it, so this is like a reasonable size without like without it being displaced too much from the actual, like, where it's actually, where the model actually would be. Because as you can see, like, when I shoot Guilty Spark, or <laughs> the butterfly version of Guilty Spark, even though the butterfly is floating up there, his, um, the solid part of him, the center part, it's actually, like, a little bit below the butterfly. And, like I said, the, the bigger I make the butterfly, the higher up the butterfly would seem to be, but his uh, center part would still be, like, really far down in the same spot. But, yeah, so... There you guys have it. <laughs> that is what it's like to uh, play as a butterfly. Um, like the uh, we had like a lot of ideas with the intro to make the butterfly like bigger uh, and stuff like that, or like have a lot of butterflies swarm uh, like a marine. But none of those really worked well because um, when I tried to replace the flood infection forms with the uh, the butterfly, it um 
they didn't move at all. So unfortunately, the butterfly is a little bit more limited than all the other creatures. So we <laughs> we couldn't we couldn't fill, uh, make all of our uh, ideas a reality, unfortunately. But yeah, so hopefully you guys still enjoyed this video and found it to be interesting. And if you did enjoy this wacky video, make sure to leave a like. Uh, you know, leave your thoughts in the comments. Just anything else you to check out or any creature you want to play as or look into. Uh, I think we still need the flood infection form uh, eventually. If you want to see that next, we could do that or any other creature. Just let us know in the comments and I'll you know do my best to get around to it soon. Uh, but other than that, make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you guys next time. Bye, guys.